Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm bringing you a book haul. It has been quite a while since I did a physical book haul. I think I have over 20 books to show to you guys, but this is over like a long period of time. I haven't got all of these books in like the past couple weeks. I think I've got them in like the past few months. <laughs> the reason I held off on doing a haul for quite a while was because I was waiting for these two packages, which I am so excited to open. I think this is the first time I've ever done like an unboxing on this channel, so that's really fun. The first box I have is from a company called How Novel, who very kindly reached out to me and asked if I would like to try one of their subscription boxes. I think How Novel would be really great if you wanted something like as a one-off kind of treat but also if you wanted kind of a regular bookish surprise. I think the idea behind this box is so cool because you pick a book based on basically they wrap up the book in like brown paper and they do some like really cool illustrations on the front which give you a clue as to the contents. If you do like the look of this box I do have a discount code so you can get 10% off your first order by using the code Leanne Rose. 10. Everything will be down below in the description. But yeah, I'm so excited to open this. Oh, this is so cute. How lovely is that? It's so super cute. I actually forget what I picked. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. I'll do some cutaways so you can see it better, but you get like a really cute bookmark and a little card. And of course there are the cute illustrations on the front. I actually forgot which ones I picked, but it was courage, love, loss, and a perilous journey. So that definitely sounds like something I would be interested in. I'm not going to show you guys what book is on the inside because I don't want to spoil the surprise for you if you would be interested in getting your hands on one of these boxes but I am going to show you like my reaction to it. Oh okay that's really interesting because this it just looks like I'm looking at my crotch. I'm not. There's a book down here. <laughs> so this is not a book that I would pick up for myself but I've seen it everywhere and everyone I've heard about like talking about it have said how good it is. I think that's one of the really cool things about a box like this is like the surprise factor. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, How Novel, for sending that to me. The next box I have is actually from the author. You would have heard me talk about this book in my latest reading wrapper. So I know the book inside this is Clandestine by BJ Spencer, who is a very, very good friend of mine, but she has put together these little boxes to celebrate the launch of her new book. I'm so excited. I am so excited for this. Oh, it's so mysterious. <laughs> I love that like the tissue paper matches the colors from the book. That's really cute. Oh, this is so fun. Comes with a little card, which has this like really cute little sticker on it. I feel like this is gonna like make me cry or something. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh, I probably shouldn't read this on camera because I'll cry. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. This is so cute. And if you read this book, you will find out the significance of the feather. And on the back it says, long live the revolution, which you know, I'm always on board with. <laughs> oh, this is, it's so pretty that I don't even wanna, I don't need, I mean, I'm gonna. Here is the final version of the book. It's so exciting. I won't go into the details of the book too much because obviously I did speak about it in my wrap up, but this is one of the most fun, like YA dystopian books that I've read in quite some time. Oh, now I've got my proof and my finished copy. That's so great. There is some other goodies in here and I'm so hyped. Oh my god, this is so cute! I don't talk about like self-published authors basically at all on this channel. I just think it's so impressive that a self-published author has been able to put all of this together. We've got some Jammy Dodgers, which like, Jammy Dodgers are a massively underrated biscuit in my opinion. We've got this little curious badge, which again, if you read the book, that will make sense to you and this is so cool. We have a little black tea light, also very cool. And there's a little tea bag. I'm always hyped when I get a tea bag and a bookish parcel. Tea drinkers and bookish people, we just, there's a lot of overlap in that Venn diagram. Oh my goodness. Again, you will understand the significance of the feather if you read the book. This is so cool. Where did she get these from? I feel like maybe there was something in this falling out in the packaging, but it's a cute box. There's a letter about the making of the book, which I think is always really interesting interesting like I always read like the acknowledgement sections and like all of the all of the little extra sections in books because I love hearing the process behind people's writing oh and there's another card in here so you can like you can spread the clandestine love I actually have no idea how to pronounce clandestine I feel like me and the author pronounce it differently another long live the revolution card it's so cute oh this is so nice it really does show when people go the extra mile with these kind of things I'm obsessed with this badge like it has like a 
significant meaning in the book but I think like just curiosity is something that I really try and carry in my day-to-day -day life as well like in my approaches to everything I think it's amazing to be curious definitely gonna reuse this tissue paper as well okay so into the rest of the books I'm gonna start with the books that are like fiction books for grown-ups so the first book I have is The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory this is a book that I've been seeing a lot on booktube and I was really intrigued by it I've been trying to get into more rom-coms and this is one that kept coming up again and again and I really love the really like fun idea behind this book so this book begins when Nicole is at a baseball game with her boyfriend and he does like a massive grand gesture by proposing to her using the like scoreboard that is shown to the entire stadium and they've only been dating five months and Nicole does not want to marry him I hate the idea of a proposal like that like I think it's so much like unfair pressure so I don't blame her for not wanting to marry him of course social media goes crazy this goes viral and the person that comes to her rescue is Carlos and they embark on a rebound they think neither of them are looking for anything serious but you know it's gonna end up being serious I think this book is just gonna be so much fun I also have If Only by Melanie Murphy Melanie Murphy is an Irish youtuber she does a lot of content around like body positivity about sex and relationships she's just had a baby so she's done a lot of content around that this is one of those novels that takes a look at the experiences of a woman in her 30s and the kind of life decisions and thoughts they are having at that time around like careers and relationships but this also has a sci-fi twist to it she gets her hands on a family heirloom and I believe this has some sort of like fantasy powers that means she can relive her life in different scenarios so if only she had done this like the title suggests how would her life be different I love that kind of concept and how you can really play with it so I'd be really intrigued to see what Melanie's done with it I also have The Regulars by Georgia Clark which is another novel about womanhood but with this kind of sci-fi fantasy twist to it we're following three women with different lives who are in their mid-20s and I really like that I think there's a lot of books about kind of teenagers and there's a lot of books about women on the cusp of their 30s but there are fewer books that handle that kind of middle ground which is where I'm at in my life and I, I like to read about that stuff <laughs> so they come across this product which can just make them beautiful make them gorgeous and the book explores how that changes these three women's lives I think this is another really intriguing concept it is the kind of like sci-fi kind of stuff that I really like where it feels like it could just about happen so I'm really intrigued by this one I guess on to some more kind of literary stuff now I have Being Various edited by Lucy Caldwell this is a collection of new Irish short stories there's lots of writers included in here some that I've read lots of work from before like Louise O'Neill Sally Rooney Kit Dewall Emer McBride Belinda Mikyo and Lisa McInerney like there are so many names on here that I absolutely love but there are also some writers in here that I've never read anything from before so it'll be really great to revisit some favorites and be introduced to some new writers as well I have Before the Coffee Gets Cold Tales from the Cafe by Toshikazu Kawaguchi this is the follow-up to Before the Coffee Gets Cold and has more stories from the fantastical cafe that we know from the first book in this cafe you have the ability to travel back in time but you have to stay at that table and you can only speak to people who have also been in that cafe and you have to finish up your conversation before your coffee gets cold and through that setup the author was able to explore some really interesting and touching stories so I'm really excited for more of the same in this book and it's also shiny like the last one was so that's super exciting I also have a play I have The Lamplighter by Jackie Kay I've read quite a lot from Jackie Kay in the past so I'm confident that I'm gonna like this one this explores Britain's role in the slave trade which isn't something that I've read a whole lot about and I think it'll be really interesting to read this in a play format it's been quite a while since I've read a play I have My Darling from the Lions by Rachel Long this is a contemporary poetry collection which I read a couple of months ago now so I will leave my wrap-up link so you can hear more of my thoughts if this sounds interesting to you this is a really razor sharp collection that looks at family at religion at sexual awakenings her poems are really emotionally insightful and politically aware this is turning into a book review now and this is not a wrap-up this is a haul but if you're looking for a new contemporary poetry collection I can really recommend this one I have a few more like classic books now so I have Essays in Love by Alan de Botton I picked this one up because a friend was reading it and it sounded really intriguing it sounded like something that I would definitely like to delve into because I love kind of taking a magnifying glass to like relationships and that kind of thing and this book is kind of very philosophical about love and romance it really examines what makes relationships functional or dysfunctional it really explores the contradictions in love again this is turning into a book review so I'm gonna try rein it in but basically at the start of this book a young man and a young woman meet on a flight and they fall in love and we follow them from there and it's very philosophical I think I enjoyed discussing it more than I necessarily enjoyed reading it which I think is kind of the case when you have lots of like 
philosophical elements to a book. But I'll talk more about this one in my wrap up as well. I picked up Passing by Nella Larson. I think this one would be really great for fans of The Vanishing Half because it also deals with topics of like colorism. This book follows two old friends who are reunited and one of these friends passes for white despite being black. She's married to a really racist white guy who doesn't know anything about her background. It's set in Harlem which is a location that I think is really fantastic to read about. So after reading The Vanishing Half I'm really excited to read this one too. I also have Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I don't actually know anything about the content of this book but it's a lot longer than The Great Gatsby. I don't know why I expected that it would also be short just because The Great Gatsby is. I love The Great Gatsby. It's one of my like favourite classics but I've not read anything else by F. Scott Fitzgerald so I'm really intrigued by this one but I did kind of did just kind of get it to add to my Penguin English Library collection but I do plan on reading it obviously. <laughs> Should we do non-fiction next or kids? Let's do non-fiction. This is Take It As A Compliment by Maria Stowen. This is like a graphic novel comic book kind of thing and all I really know is that it is about like misogyny and rape culture, about like sexual harassment and those kind of quite heavy topics. This has been on my radar for quite a few years. I think quite a few people on booktube read it a few years ago and I realised it had been quite a while since I'd read kind of a graphic novel. I also have Daily Rituals Women at Work by Mason Curry. Can we can we talk about the shininess of this book because I'm I'm in love. This book takes a look at a lot of inspirational women from history and how they got shit done basically. How these women found inspiration and put it to work, how they found time to harness their creativity. There's people in here like Nina Simone, Patti Smith, Frida Kahlo, Mary Shelley, Coco Chanel and Zadie Smith. Like there's just a real range of women in here which I think is really cool. As a woman that also tries to get shit done, I think I will find this quite motivational and inspirational. I also have Being an Adult by Lucy Tobin and Kat Poole. This is another one that I've already read so I won't talk about it too much. But this is a book basically about like getting your shit together and becoming a grown up. It covers topics from like moving house to how to do like basic household tasks. There's also things like getting a mortgage. There's stuff about emotional intelligence. There's stuff about buying a car. I will leave my wrap up linked as with all of the other books that I've reviewed so you can hear more of my thoughts if you would like to. This next one I am so excited about. This is A Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink. I have read two of Kathy's previous books and I think she's absolutely phenomenal. And this book is basically a love letter to reading. It's a really joyous exploration of how books can impact readers. I love books about books so I'm sure I'm gonna love this one. I think books have offered a real comfort to a lot of people in the past few months as well. So, And I'm gonna finish up with the YA and kids books and this next one is definitely on like the upper end of YA but it is A Savage Her Reply by Deirdre Sullivan. Again this is one that I have already read and will leave my review linked. This is a feminist retelling of The Children of Lear which is a story from Irish mythology. A story of a king called Lear who remarries and his new wife who is a witch is very jealous of the four children he has from his previous marriage and subsequently turns them into swans for 900 years. In this retelling she is given a voice. It's told in a really interesting way, it's really beautifully written but again trying not to get into a book review. <laughs> I also have Boy Queen by George Lester which I am so excited to read and George is just like the nicest person in the world. In this book we follow a teenage boy named Robin who is dipping his toes into the drag scene for the first time. After reading The Black Flamingo earlier this year I'm even more excited to read this book than I was before. Earlier this year before all of the theatres shut down as well I also went to see um, Everybody's Talking About Jamie which I'm so excited is going to be like it's been made into a film and it's going to be in movie theatres. I think this book is going to be so much fun. I also have Melt My Heart by Bethany Rutter. I read her previous novel No Big Deal last year. It was one of the first books I read from like when I started working at Pam Macmillan. This is a story about female friendship and it is about that kind of weird transitionary summer before you go off to university which I think is a kind of period of a teenager's life where everything feels so kind of scary and up in the air and it's a moment of real transition. I love that this book deals with that kind of in-between stage. You know there are there are books about people being in college or university and there are books about people being in school but it's nice to have a book that deals with that in-between stage. I also have two Jacqueline Wilson books so I have Double Act and The Illustrated Mum. I'm not going to go into these in any detail but I am going to be rereading some Jacqueline Wilson books soon so I picked these two up in preparation for that. I do have some other Jacqueline Wilson books already so I did have to resist buying loads because I already have quite a few. And the final book I have is Bloom by Nicholas Skinner. All I know about this one is it's about a young girl who is like really well behaved. Like she's so good that the teachers in her school come to her to help them remember what the rules are. She then discovers a packet of surprising seeds and her world begins to change in a number of strange and 
marvelous ways. This is the kind of like really odd, intriguing, middle grade concept that I love. And also how can you resist this cover? It is stunning. So that is it. They are all the books I'm gonna talk to you about today. Good luck to me holding these up for a thumbnail. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. If you wanna find out more about them, they will all be linked down below in the description as well as all of my social media links if you wanna connect with me elsewhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to hear me talk about books some more. And leave me a little emoji down in the comments if you don't have anything specific to say so I know you made it this far in the video. In which case you win a prize of my affection. That's all for me today. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you in my next video.